All right, we are live. Okay, guys, I have a dye bath scheduled for today, and I have these dresses sewn, size medium, and I want to get these in with the batch of dresses that are um, coming out on Monday, that are going all going all up for sale on Monday. So I'm going to start painting, and these are new, new designs. I haven't even planned the designs out, so we're just going to go freehand right into it, I'm thinking trees for this. Um, I have some great tree ideas in mind along the skirt. We can do a tree with a moon and a sun on the other side. And actually we have four dresses, but I know I'm gonna aim to get three done in today. And I know that this one we're gonna start right away with a tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And you guys can just chill out and watch me paint at your convenience. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this <laughs> underway. So here we go. I haven't even traced these out. So this is totally just raw starting from the beginning. No idea where these branches are gonna be but we need to get them done early because they need to get into the... Hi, Beth. Great, yes, sun, moon, and trees. That's what we're gonna do. Um, gotta get them done early. I was even gonna try to start earlier today, but I don't usually paint in the earlier part of the day. Nighttime is more my style, but we need to get these done. Like we have photo shoots scheduled for all right, my tool is clogged. Photo shoot scheduled for Thursday morning. And we, the weather's decent right now, and I need to, I'm pretty sure if I start now, I'll be able to get these in with the other batch, or at least finished up in the tail end of the batch that I have outside. Well, hey there, all right, you guys. Welcome to the painting session for today. We're just going straight in, no patterns planned or anything. I just, trees, moons, and suns, that's what we're doing. So, welcome to the stream. Just gonna go right into it. Maybe we'll add a few owls. I did add owls onto a dress earlier by somebody's uh, suggestion. And they turned out pretty cute, lots of owls. Got some nice mellow music playing. Hopefully this is gonna work. Yeah, I'll just do that. All right, guys. What do you guys think? I should add some owls on here? Yeah, I, I like this shirt. Isn't this shirt crazy? Thanks for mentioning it. How do I stop the drips from the wax to the fabric? Uh, yeah, just move quick. Also, the angle that you hold this tool can, uh, you can sort of uh, regulate the flow of the wax that way. I mean, it's subtle, but it does, it is part of it. But yeah, moving quick, keeping it kind of close, and there, it does drip a lot but it kind of piles up right here. and You know, it's a workroom. <laughs> yeah, I like this shirt. It's a medium. It's like a men's unisex shirt, but I just like, I just like the, I don't know, I'm kind of getting into like, just loose, regular t-shirts. Sure, Angela. I'm glad that I can answer. Thanks for asking. All right. What I'm gonna do right now is outline this tree with a second line of wax to make that all the tree really stand out. And then I think I'm just gonna go right in and paint a moon next to it. 
And then stars, maybe leaves, maybe owls. I haven't, I haven't figured that out yet. Owls and leaves, that'd be cute. But moons and stars too. Gosh, I'm kind of nervous. I don't even know why I'm nervous. I think I would be getting used to this by now. <laughs> Ooh, like a dragonfly, that's a good idea. I'd have to practice dragonflies before I... Actually, I've done dragonflies before. They were cool. The shirt I have on. Oh, I missed the earlier comment. This is, yeah, this is one of my own boutiques that I kind of took for myself. <laughs> but it has the neckline, which I'm sort of obsessed with, these necklines. And uh, it's a, just a men's t-shirt. Oh, you think this looks like a dragonfly? Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, kind of do it. Well, they're all kind of abstract. All these designs, they sort of have an abstract, subtle meaning. And some are like clearly what they are and some are, yeah, I don't know. It's sort of, I don't know what the word is called. Some sort of art form. I didn't put roots on the earlier tree and I kind of wish I did. dresses I need to go to your website and look um there's about four dresses online right now they do the yeah I do my best to keep up <laughs> they're all different sizes and lengths so you can check them out and I'm making I make them in all different sizes and lengths so uh, we have more coming up on Monday in the shop right now are two larges and a medium and oh and an extra large actually and that one is long. Okay, now, how do I feel about putting an owl here? I, I put an owl on another dress and it was so cute. I liked it. I think I'm gonna do it again. Use a marker. Outline a little owl here. Cute. Probably 
do a little curl. And a little owl here. Cute little owls having a good time hanging out. We could put one here. me a little tiny owl though. You think it'll fit? I don't know. I think it'd be kind of fun. I mean, you know, Holbrook, Arizona. All right. Hi, Joanne. Tammy says yes. I think she's talking about the owls, but I'm just going to go with it, with the owls. But if we do the owls, oh yeah, then we'll do the moon here. And then we'll just carry that moon right out. Okay, that's what we'll do. This dress might go quick. I always say that. And then I wind up spending an hour on it, but hopefully not. Oops. Alright, tool is a little hot. Okay, it looks it looks a little weird right now, but. We gotta let it cool down. I know my owls are very like simple, <laughs> but you know, with the wax and everything, you gotta do the best you can. But I do like them. They're kind of like my kitties, the way I make petite kitties, which I haven't done in a while. The cats are so cute. Owls and moons, all right. All right, that's a funny looking owl. Hey, but you know, we love all creatures, so. Even if it's a funny looking one. <laughs> so with the owls, put little eyes in. Then they now they look they batique well. It looks they look different <laughs> wet in wax form than they do when they're finished, so little eyes in there. Cute. Cute little owl. Connecticut first time me here this is so cool hi Carrie well welcome welcome to the painting session here can I do fairies I, Tam, is, someone asked me if I could do fairies but I do you know they're all kind of abstract designs so some people might interpret them as fairies just kind of go with whatever the imagination wherever it takes me as the wax is flowing out of the tool sometimes it does look like fairies hi I'm from Tennessee Candace hi welcome to the stream Diana says ones are you using ones am I using the tools this is a called a John Ting I think I do not know the pronunciation I've only been doing this for 20 years, but I still don't know how to pronounce this tool. It's a special tool for painting batik. And you can get it from a craft supply store. Although this one I made, 
uh, based on some tools I got and I just sort of modif customized this one for my style because I work really fast and uh, I just know what I need to do for painting the way I paint. I know what kind of tools I, how I need the tool to work, so. But it's sort of based off of this tool. This is the one you can get from the craft supply store. See, it looks like that. And uh, it's really designed to be, to paint like flat, but I paint with the fabric hanging up. And this is just how I do it. So I, I change this around and I put it on a paintbrush handle and change that and that's how what this is. <laughs> no wonder I make it look so easy. Hi Mixie! <laughs> yeah, great! Oh yeah, the 20 years. Yeah, no wonder it makes it, that's what you meant, Tammy, right? <laughs> Well, it's been more than 20 years, but I, I just don't want to admit that. All right. But, I mean, you know. I don't know why I wouldn't want to admit that. I don't know. I'm weird. I've only been painting in front of people for a month. <laughs> so it's kind of new for me, but... Um, it's fun. I like it. All right. Now we have three dresses to make at least, and I actually have four, so I'm not going to go too crazy on this one because we don't want to, we want to kind of keep a variety going as far as like what to offer on the site. And uh, that's how we're going to do it. Okay. So that's the tree. Oh, I have allergies today. If my allergies get crazy, I don't know what we're gonna do. Yes, it is. It's raised on the fabric. It's I painted it right on top of the fabric. And this is the inside. So it does kind of go through, which you need it to do in order for it to resist the dye. So this will go into the dye bath. And everywhere that you see me paint will resist the dye. So the like this. This is a shirt. It's actually on line right now. It's a men's t-shirt and extra large. I kind of have to be careful not getting it too close to the wax. See how it is? This is the tree. Basically, this is the larger version of this tree. So everywhere is white is where the first layer of beeswax goes. Thanks, Kelly. And uh, yeah, that's, this is what, this is just an example. So you can put it in different colors and all right, Melissa got it, cool. <laughs> okay, let's keep going here. What were we doing? I was gonna do a moon. I don't know why I wore shorts today. Actually, I've been, I can batique in shorts. Sometimes the wax will drip though. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Just filling in here to get keep that, the brightness. This, this I'm covering the, the white now. So this will really make that tree stand out. The contrast in color. And I have allergies. That's embarrassing. Okay. The allergies are insane today. But right now, for this moment, I'm doing good. And this is hopefully not going to be too long of a stream. So I will... Uh, oh, and then I have my label. I'm going to paint that. My little label. Can you guys see it? Um, usually just two colors. Two Waxings and two colors. Sometimes I'll do three waxings and three colors. Um, just kind of depends. But most of them are two. All right, I gotta do this moon. We just gotta do it. Be brave. Be brave. We're gonna do a moon right here.
wax is a little too hot. I'm turn it down a bit. Idaho, hi Sherry. Hi Michelle, thank you. Okay. Just do a little bit of Wow, totally mesmerizing and very relaxing to watch. <laughs> yes. Are you in Ireland? Your name looks familiar. <laughs> There's a heart. I see a heart. So where do I get my beeswax? I, it is local and it is uh, from a retired beekeepers that actually was a widow. Her, her, she and her husband had a bee farm for years and years. And he passed away and she had had it in the warehouse for like eight years. Yes, you did. You, you have a dress coming your way. Uh, yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> And anyway, I had, yeah, I used to buy beeswax from them years ago. All my all my life, pretty much, since I've been out here in Oregon. They had a farm uh, kind of out of town from where we live. Anyway, I would just get a small amount of whatever I could, you know, afford back in the, my festival days, like little little blocks of wax, like thirty pound block of wax, or they'd just sell it to me what I could get they were really nice people anyway she had a whole bunch of leftover I had called them ran I had called her randomly out of the blue I was getting it from a candle maker in town it was a candle ma a wholesale supplier and he'd sell me because uh, I, I get the low the raw the unfiltered they I mean they call it lower grade but I think it's the higher grade because it's not refined it's untouched it's straight it's just the basic stuff anyway that's where i got it. they had a whole warehouse well not a whole warehouse they had a few hundred pounds and so that's the wax i'm using right now but yeah i scavenge <laughs> it's on its way the dress is on its way to you i'm so excited yeah you've got a medium that beautiful purple one Joyce says, hi, Victoria. I better replace my beloved hoodie from you. Left it at Bart Station. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, man. These boutiques always have some kind of crazy story. Uh, sometimes something... I've heard of different uh, different ventures that they've been on. Sounds like yours went, got on its own adventure, too. You gotta get a new hoodie. <laughs> Hoodies will be coming in the fall. So yeah, keep. I'll, I'll be on the lookout for you. I'll be thinking about you. Carrie says, do you have larger sizes? I do. There's a whole section on my website called the plus size section. Oh, my shorts are like, I don't know why I wear shorts today. That's so embarrassing. Uh, the plus size section at the top of, you can click, there's a link in the title of the video. And so right at the top, in one of the tabs is a whole area devoted to plus sizes. And I do have, uh, yeah, that's, there we go. Some of those items cross correlate with other categories, but you'll, you'll pretty much find all the plus sizes in that category. All right. Um, that's cool. We got the moon. We have a couple of owls. Now, what are we going to do here? We can either do a sun
like this which I don't know if I want that or we can do one on the side like this you know maybe we'll do that an off-center song and then have the rays come out that'd be kind of cute yeah we might do that and then we'll just do random stars throughout the dress just for cuteness and then move on to the next dress because I tend these streams go forever and we gotta I gotta kind of monitor my time and adjust these shorts what was I thinking Joyce has flowers and a clapping and all right thank you Joyce <laughs> all right forget it okay I'm getting self-conscious just not be self-conscious Water helps. That is printed. It's printed. Like it's not plastic. Isn't that cool? It's actually metal. So it's like a, a batik cup. I get these at Redbubble. I'll put a link in the comments. I keep forgetting to do that, but uh, I'll do that. I'll try to remember to do that on this, on this stream. If anyone wants one of these, those are the coolest cups. All right, let's do this. And then we're going to do rays that come out. Let's do this first. Hi from Michigan. Hi Diane. Hi Deborah. Thank you. Thanks for sharing the video, guys. I saw somebody shared it earlier. I appreciate that. helps get the word out you know what batik is and how it's done and 
someone, you know, to see someone actually doing it, it's kind of cool. I think, I hope so. Actually, it is cool. <laughs> What kind of a tool am I using? Um, this is, it's a, well, this is a modified tool. I made this tool and it's based off of this tool, which is called a, a John Ting. And it's a basic, it's a traditional batik tool that you can get from a craft supply store with a copper, it's got a copper tip, wooden handle, but this doesn't work for me. So I actually changed, I took the tip of this and I added it to a paintbrush handle and just sort of changed it around so that I could paint faster. But it's based off of that tool, which is a traditional batik tool. And it has a funny spelling. It's pronounced John Ting, I think, I don't know. But I think it's that's what it, how it's pronounced. I'll try to link it in the comments when I'm done here, if I can remember to do that. Something, oh, I missed it. I missed someone's comment on there. Okay, let's do this. Well, this is pretty. This is coming out. more details highlight these swirls all right Can I order a 3X zip up hoodie? Well, I'm doing, I'm not doing custom orders. Um, hoodies will be coming out in the fall though, or September or something like that. And uh, I'm gonna try to see what I can do for sizing. Right now I've only been able to get up to 2X, um, 2X men's, but we'll see. I don't know, they are always innovating. So we'll see if my, I use organic cotton, so I gotta, and they, you know, they come up with, there's enough requests going in. We, we might be able to get them up to three X. Okay. So this is nice. I'm thinking about adding a little extra in here. I just am, I gotta do it. And then we're gonna do the stars and then we're gonna go on to the second dress. Yeah, it is a sun. All right. Okay, good. So that's pretty. But I did want to put a couple of stars. Do we want to put stars in here? 
We want to put stars on this side. For sure. Yes, there is an owl in here, Judy. Yes, I put a couple, a few owls in the in this tree. Got a whole bunch of little owls in there, hanging out. Not too close, but not too far apart. All right, so we have stars on this side. Very cute little details. Which I think we should do one more right here. <laughs> As far as this side is concerned, this is pretty. I don't think it needs a star, but I don't know. What do you think? That's really pretty as it is. So, hold on, I got a notification. Don't, oh sh I'm still live, oh my God. <laughs> Sorry for my swearing. Well, that's the real me though. Um. I had to change my phone settings. <laughs> so like, <laughs> all right. So this is one. I think that I'm gonna leave this design the way this what this is enough. It's a cute dress. It's a nice theme on it. That's the back, and then we'll have a, like a solid design up here. I like it. This is really cute. And you could still wear like a little jacket over it and, you know, whatever. And then you have most of the design on the skirt. And these are reversible too, so you could wear it like either way. All right, that's one. Okay. I'd like to see you paint over the first die back. Yeah, we just saw, oh, I did a three hour stream last night just painting the dresses that we dyed. Um, and they're all waiting to get dyed again, but wow. I actually only got halfway through it to go in later and finish them, but I did finish them all last night. So, uh, but there is a stream. There's a stream or a video somewhere in there, not too long ago, where you can, uh, yeah. It's a very long one. It's very relaxing. <laughs> it's just paint stroke after paint stroke. Okay, guys, should we do another tree? Thanks, Diana. Linda said, oh yeah, that was Linda's question. Okay, what do you think? Another tree? Should we do one with a neckline? Like, kind of not quite like this, but sort of like this? Yeah. We could do one with a neckline. I always like the ones with the neckline. But I never know if other people do. They're more like super uh, festive. Floral. Diana is saying floral. Mm, the flowers are nice, but wow, they are so time consuming. Should we do two with trees? We only have like one or two with trees and medium. More Two for flowers. You guys, that's... That's, it might, that's a, that's a long, that's a long, that's a two hour dress. <laughs> I got, I did one and after that I was like, oh, I don't know if I can do that again. But it would be cute on, actually on a, um, a medium. Maybe we will do it. It's a, it's a quite, quite a uh, commitment though.
Mark isn't dragonfly. Let's do it. Mm -hmm, do what my heart tells me. Thank you, Judy. We'll do one flower dress. Just one, since I only have one other in large and not one in medium. And we'll make it a mot, like not go too crazy on the flowers. This is pretty, probably need one more right here. Actually, let's just see what we do back here. All right, that's a little crazy, but I like it. It's unusual. It's not too over the top. I think we can do it. A little sip of water. Mm. We might do one more right here. All right, guys, let's get into it. Oh, I wish I remembered how I do the flowers. Oh, I gotta go check out my t-shirt area, t-shirt section and see what, uh, they just changed. They just changed this format for the website around from on the inside on the administration part the admin and <laughs> they j literally just changed it like an hour ago completely different okay so let's look at some flowers that we already did because that always helps referring to previous artwork and here we go Okay, there we go. That's cute. Now we know what to do. Thank you. 
is a paisley. Yeah. <laughs> That's a curtain that it's just an, an, a tapestry I've had for years and years. And I used it as a curtain for my booth for the dressing room. But not every time because I kind of liked it. So I didn't really bring it out that much. And I found it in one of my boxes when we moved back in here. And I was like, I want to put this up. Make it make it useful. Wax is really hot for some reason. It's really hot today. All right, this is going a little faster than I thought it would, so I'm happy about that. Yes, I'm doing flowers on the dress, and uh, the this one will go up for sale on Monday. I gotta get it finished first, though. <laughs> oh yeah, is there glare? Well, they're not quite done yet, but oh yeah, there's a kind of a glare. I'm sort of getting in the middle of it, getting the little flowers around. Just a few. I'm not going to cover the whole dress, but yeah, we're going to put more flowers on the side too. And also, I'm going to get in there and highlight. I'm going to add some detail work here. Um, 
super soon once I get this. We might even add a few more flowers because that went faster than I thought it would. Okay, what are we doing here? We get all this side done. I'm, just, I'm gonna put this flower, it's gonna do something strange here, guys. I'm just, I just make weird designs. <laughs> The wax dries pretty quickly, yes. Um, and as soon as it's dry, it cools down. <laughs> okay. And we're going to go in there and highlight the petals. Oh, still too. There we go. With this little tiny brush right here. Just make that center just come right out. So that when it goes into the third dye bath, the center will really like have a great contrast. Where these little brush strokes will blend right into the second color. brush is hot. Ouch. Oh, my hands are shaking. Kind of nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. I gotta calm down. I'm upset about the notification that interrupted my stream. But my phone, I don't know. Still figuring it all out. Seems like forever. I'm always trying to figure things out. All right. Some days I have just, I don't know, my mood just changes. I don't know if that's normal. Everyone is moody. It's just me. <laughs> Probably everybody has crazy moods. I don't really know. I need to get out of this state. I like Oregon, it's really pretty here, but sometimes I wonder, you know, is it different on other places? Just my luck. I mean, I like it here. I don't know why I'm even saying that. I haven't traveled in a while. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, that is what it is. Okay. I think this summer we're gonna travel. Hi, Penny. We're gonna do something. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how June goes. You guys travel for the summer? You know, I've never seen like Yellowstone or the Grand Canyon. 
And I've been, I haven't, I kind of want to go take a trip down Route 1, although there's like a partially closed mudslide thing happening down there. I really want it to bring my kids on that road. I don't know how that's going though. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see how it goes. Okay, pretty. Really cute. I think it needs another flower right here. A girl trip with best friend. Oh yeah, Penny's planning on a trip. Right on, Florida, sweet. Oceans. I spent time in Florida as a kid. Boca Raton, my grandparents. That was a while ago though. I do remember it. It's pretty. Oceans. That's where I learned to swim was in an ocean. The Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, and seashells and stuff. <laughs> you can't swim out here. Not up in Oregon. As oceans are not, not good for swimming. Oh yeah, the vacations are your craft shows. Mine used to be my craft shows too. <laughs> It was fun. It was a lot of work, but it was fun. It was like a paid vacation. But so much traveling. It was kind of nice to take a break, but it's been so long since I've done one that I'm like, oh, I kind of miss, I kind of miss the travel a little bit. All right. Do one more flower right in here, and then we're gonna. I'm gonna let this dress, really cute dress, do its thing. Thanks for sharing the video. These live streams are the most shared thing I've ever done. And it's just such an honor, you know, that it's shared. It's so cool. I really appreciate that. It's kind of neat. It's nice to get the this art, this fiber art technique out there so other people can see what it is. It'd be neat if people, you know, tried it out for themselves. I think it'd be quite the revolution in, um, you know, 
crafts, I guess. Handmade clothing. Because you can. You can make almost anything you want. Well, almost. I mean, it takes practice, but it's so cool. Once these go in the dye, you can almost do anything. And the way the dye resists the wax, it's just so pretty. So I like it. I don't know how much time I've spent on it. I don't want to overdo it. You know, because I kind of need to keep the price point like... I know they're, well, for dresses, but I, I need to keep it, like, accessible for everyone <laughs> involved. And sometimes I do go a little overboard with the design, I think. Actually, no, you can never go overboard with the design. But that's really pretty. You know, it's a nice, simple dress with a little spice to it. I think it's pretty. I like it. And I did see some hearts floating across, so I'm going to, we'll, we'll sit it aside, we'll let it, We'll let it simmer and maybe revisit it. It's really cute. I might put one more flower down here. Oh, man. God, I'm really tempted to do that, but we're not going to do that right now. We are going to do another medium, and this time we're going to do a tree. Yes. We're gonna do another tree because we need dresses with trees. The trees are very popular. They go very quickly. And I always sell out tree of trees right away. We need to get more trees in the shop. So we'll do that right now. And I'm not gonna trace it out. I'm just gonna go right into it and start painting with the tool. Maybe we'll do it more towards the right, I guess, or the left. No, this I don't really know what side this is, but whatever side it is, that's the side we're doing. We'll make this a tall tree. Yeah, I already like it. I got my little hand sewn tags in here. I just cover it with wax so that the print. I like literally make the tags with a, a stamp with a and then I have to cover it with beeswax. It's a ink that will hold, it, it actually will survive the batik, the boiling and everything. But I gotta cover it with wax, otherwise it'll blend into the color of the dress, if, it, if it's a purple dress. Which this one might be green or earth tones. I don't know, we'll see. All right, this is a really weird tree. But we're not, I'm not judging this tree. I like this tree. I like how weird it is. It's cool. That's what I like. The unconventional. The stuff that is just a little off. Might put an owl out there. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. It's a crazy, crazy tree right here. It's a happy tree. It's having a good time. It likes being itself. We like it too. That is a pretty tree. Gosh, I wonder what I should do. Maybe I should do a moon here. But if I do moon here, then we can have the rays go out. I don't know, owls? A little owl on the tree would be cute. Uh, let's just... We'll do this part and then we'll think about 
the design that it will be while we're creating it. throw me off. Can I do this? I don't know. Let's see. Judy got the tree off her the roof of the house. That's cool. Yeah, a tree fell in this house too. The one I'm living in. Uh, I mean, three major branches. Hi, Doreen. Fell on the roof of this house. Didn't damage the roof. Me, me and my son, we chainsawed it off. We got up there and never used a chainsaw before, but I figured out how to do it on YouTube. <laughs> and then he and I together, we removed it. And there's still firewood in the yard from that tree. That was um, two or three years ago. It was intense. It was strategic. The way it fell was completely miraculous because it was a lot of wood that fell in the house. A lot. It was not and I watched it fall. It was like this ice storm, and it wasn't this year's ice storm. This was years ago, and I just had this feeling. And I went outside. I went out front, and I was looking at the tree. And it's nighttime, but it was light enough, and I just wasn't. Branches had been falling all around, and one had fallen next to the house. And I looked up, and there it went. It just cracked. It just went straight down. The one there was a whole series of branches. Like bit, like we're talking like big limbs, like tree trunk sized limbs. But what had happened is the one that the tallest one broke off and it fell on the one below it, and then that one broke the fall and the impact on the roof, and then that one snapped, and it didn't totally break off the tree. It just kind of laid on top of the roof, the whole, all the branches, everything. So it was still, I don't know. I think it actually might have completely severed from the main tree which is like the main tree is like a giant tree with like five trees coming out of it it's in my neighbor's yard it was it was intense nobody knew how to get it off <laughs> the roof yeah it was had fallen in such a precarious way but then when we got up there we i looked at it i studied i thought about it for some reason i just and my son too he has a similar way of thinking as I do. My third son, I have four. And they're all so different in character. Um, but my third son, he has a, a way of like thinking kind of like me when it comes to fixing things. Like, I'm good at fixing stuff. <laughs> Your husband removed the smaller branches and then you had a crane lift off the large part. I know, people were thinking, but the they, I don't know. My neighbor had all these kind of crazy ideas, but I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. I just saw. I just saw one catastrophe after another if it hadn't been done right. But my son, he thinks kind of like me when it comes to fixing things. Mary mechanical. It's weird. Like I don't like fixing cars, but I can fix stuff. It's weird. I have a I have a mind that like. I just have a way of deconstructing like mechanical things or like I just we figured out how to get the tree off the roof strategically by taking off it was very like 
you have to analyze one branch to the other branch and how that branch might fall and based on the weight and the angle and it took me all it took, it took like two days to do it but we got it off not no damage to the roof it was incredible everybody was like impressed I was impressed one chainsaw you know ordered on Amazon or something <laughs> an electric chainsaw at that $75 chainsaw we got it off the roof okay yeah then and other people had had like small branches like pierce through the roof and just of, of all the things like this one tiny branch would like pierce through the roof so we were really lucky that day I have to think about all the lucky things we need to sometimes I forget you know <sighs> life just seems so like challenging at times You guys are talking about roofing. That's funny. Okay, let's keep going here. Should we put a little owl in here? Like a little owl here, or is it too much? We could do one little owl right here. Let's do it. Okay, there's... I'm going to paint it out first. All right. Okay, this is like a rap battle song. I don't think I'm going to listen to it. Let's go back to the other channel. Yes, it would be a hoot, Beth says. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to do a moon here and then have the, yeah, this dress, so this is good. It's coming together. Okay. This wax is really hot and I don't know why. It's hotter today than usual. Oh my goodness, I have to sneeze. <sighs> Sorry guys. <sighs> Allergies.
yoga pants are, you know, I, American Apparel is not selling yoga pants right now. They're in like a transition or transformation, the company, and I'm kind of waiting to hear, to see what tra changes will transpire if the, if their yoga pants will be back, because they're such good yoga pants. Otherwise, I'm going to have to start doing some searching around to find what I can uh, batik on. I have my eyes on some pants, but I haven't quite started that journey yet, which I will do. I have, I uh, tend to put pants out and um, leggings late summer in the fall. They, I do plan on getting those back in the shop at some point, but um, not just yet. I might do capris. I don't know. We'll see, guys. You know, these take a while. So I always want to do more and more, but the reality is, is like, I've got limited um, capacity <laughs> The paint. Oh, I have allergies, too. Yeah, the company. Yeah, I know. They're... Well, they did it. They stopped. This one day, no more yoga pants. I think I sold my last pair. I think I don't. I think I think it is sold out now. There's one pair of leggings left. And uh, yeah, so that will be that's that will be in the projects um, coming up of things to do after we do these dresses. But well, I will be doing dresses. I'm gonna. Try to get as many dresses out this summer. Now, let's fill those little leaves in. I have allergies today, so hopefully they don't take over and I can get through this without sneezing. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, there's only one of me. I've had quite a few requests, but you know, I, ha I get a lot of requests for a lot of things, so I, I do what I can. Okay, so just fill in a little bit just to give it some depth. Do I teach classes? Have I considered? Um, well, I've had people give it a try before. You know, it's not everybody, it's weird. People, it's, um, I've seen people like get it and then, but a lot of times people come in that, um, it doesn't, wax doesn't paint like a regular paint. It has a, it has a sort of a, a mind of its own a consistency it's a very unusual substance to paint with so a lot of times people will go in with a idea of how to paint but it's the wax will throw them off so it's kind of hard to yes I do sell my work there is a link in the title of this live stream 
at my website <laughs> of finished pieces. And also, yeah, well, you'll just see it. Anyway, about the classes. Yeah, I, I people ask. I, I don't know. I haven't figured out how to teach a class yet. I don't know. It's something a lot of people ask about. I have not figured out how to do it, but, you know, with enough times that people have asked, it's definitely something I think about. I'm sure it'll come up, like I'll figure it out, how to teach a class. If it's online, I could teach an online class. I don't know. I have to figure out how to put something together like that. All right, that design I feel is it's got a lot of good detail in it. Comes around the back. Now, what will we do back here? Another sun? We could do another sunrise right here. That'd be kind of pretty. We might as well, since we have that theme going on. Yeah, give it a try, Cassidy. It would be a, a fun experiment. I would def I definitely recommend giving it a try. It's fun. Batik is fun. And I can always answer your questions if you're having any trouble with it. Or, you know, you give it a try and then check back in. And I love talking about it. Live stream or not live stream. People do write in and ask. So, um, yeah, feel free. If you have any questions about making a batik, I'm, I'm happy to talk about it. All right, do I want that kind of a sign? Or where do I want to put the sign? Do I want to put the sign here? So this is just a washable marker. That's what I'm using. And then, oh yeah, there we go. Well, do I want to do that? I feel like this dress, the design, could definitely do this placement right here in the center. So I think we'll just go ahead and do that. Then we'll just make it kind of a 70s style sun. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So here, 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 and here. Keep those lines in mind. Okay, last part of this dress. see okay there's a the glare I mean, the window is right here I don't know if the light is affecting the well let's just get started
the wax, I boil the wax out. That's how the, it's a pretty tricky process to get the wax out. But it will boil off in uh, water. And I hate, which I do outside. I have a, a cauldron. Honestly, it's a cauldron. It's a 25 gallon steel, like industrial cooking pot that I use over an outdoor propane cooking stove and just fill it up and get that water boiling or almost boiling, simmering really. And uh, yeah, the batiks, they go through a whole series of washing and drying and boiling. And I wash and dry them with the wax on and then I wash and dry them after I boil the wax out. And then after that, they're pretty shrunk and there is no wax in them and they're great, good to wear. Okay, now, this here, we're gonna do like a, should we do something here? Oh, man. I'm so tempted to. God, we could put, we could put like a moon and a star in here. We could put a peace sign in here. I've been really feeling the peace signs lately. That'd be kind of different. Man, that'd be iconic. Peace sign dress. That's right. That's what we're looking for. Peace. Check that out. That would be crazy, but it would be crazy. Where would you find a dress like that ever? You know, just here. Okay. So I don't know. Is a peace sign too crazy? <laughs> it's such a crazy idea. Oh yeah, someone says peace. Alright, let's let's try it out. I'm gonna do it because I'm I'm gonna Like I said, the dresses make themselves. I'm just I just deliver somehow it just comes in through these hands. <laughs> All right, so this one's going to be the peace sign could be, let's see, let's think. We got, I got, when I'm doing this design, I'm thinking about the second color and the third color. So of that, a lot of the, you know, a lot of the plan, a lot of the design is already planned out here for the dress all the way to the end. That's why this base design is so important. Now, if I painted that in white, oh, we could do that. Oh, I could paint it. You know what? I feel like we do need to do that. That will make that piece sign really stand out. Let's. But if we don't do it. Let's just do it. We're gonna do it. It'll be fine. It's gonna be have great contrast here. Hand is not shaking a little bit. This brush is getting worn out. I need a new brush soon. Okay. Let this cool down. I don't wanna do too many stars. We'll just do a couple of little star rays here. This will make three dresses. 
Do any of you guys know how long I've been doing this today? I was hoping to do a shorter stream than I've been doing lately with the three hour, two hours, but you know, there's a lot of people on here. <laughs> um, but I mean, I do have one more dress. I could keep going. It's up to you guys. I didn't know there were that many people watching. Welcome to the stream. If you guys have any questions, uh, go ahead and ask. Alright, I'm going to do this detail work because I love it. And then this is going to be pretty awesome. And we're going to do one more star here. And then one star here. Okay, and I'm feeling very happy with the outcome. I could probably put one more star here though for balance, and then, ow, and then one over here. Wrap it up. Yes, after I paint this layer, it goes into the dye bath. So this dress will be dyed two more times. That's exactly how it uh, it works. And then this is like the end result. Well, this is one of the t-shirts. This is just one of the color com. There's so many color combinations. They're not all this bright. Sometimes I do the more subtle looks. But um, see the white is where everywhere I'm painting right now is how the end result looks like this, which is pretty cool. And so that's what I'm painting. You can kind of see the rays, similar rays right here. And uh, yeah, so that's one side. These are reversible. Make sure we're good. Not there we go. Is that good? Is that helping? So, there's the tree, and yes, there's a little owl in the tree, and then leaves. So, this one's cute. This is a medium, also. Similar to that one I had on in the video. Pretty much the same pattern. And I think, I think this one's good. I'm, I'm tempted to add a little something here. Cause I, you know, I'm always like, I'm never normal. I always do a little extra, <laughs> but, um, I don't know. We'll draw something and then maybe see what happens. Like a leaf. Oh, that's cute. Maybe a leaf right here too. Look at that. Oh my God. This, psh, all right, we gotta do it. We gotta do it, and then that, and then seriously, then I'll be done with this dress. All right, go in it. That's cute, it's too cute. Woo, so precarious though. Lisa says, I learned how to make batiks in house school. I think you just inspired me to start again. Yeah. Get into it. Yes, we need more batik in this world. I do, I do encourage you. Definitely give it a try. There's so many different ways, so many different styles. And everyone who makes a batik, it's their own unique piece. Everyone's style is different. It's not like it, I can be copied because it's... um. You know, everybody paints differently and everybody draws differently. Cute. Okay. So everyone will batik differently. Okay, that's cute. I just did it. I had to do this little extra leaves. They had to happen. All right, there we go. Now it's done. That's a precious dress and it's reversible. So if you want it to have like the peace sign in the front. Like I have these platform shoes that I 
platform sandal so I can stand up. <laughs> These are my shoes. <laughs> I used to wear these to festivals. Anyway, I'm glad I kept them. And yeah, I put the glitter on here. All right, we got a lot of people on here more than I realized. We've got three dresses painted. We have four, I have four in stock that do need to be painted. So we could do one more. Oops. Yeah, I'm, I'm that coordinated. I just am, that's how, it, that's how I roll. All right, where's that fourth dress? One, two, three. I actually got a, quite a few dresses. Oh, here it is. Okay, don't look at my cabinets. They're messy. All right. This is it. This will be the last dress. So you guys are welcome to come and go. Nobody's obligated. You can just, uh, I'll be here. I'm really happy to get this done. Wow, it's two o'clock. So I haven't been on too long. I, we're good. Let's do this. This will be it. And then uh, and we'll call it a day. And these are going to go into the dye bath. And the other dresses that we painted yesterday are going to also go into the dye bath. And they will be finished up. And then we'll, we have a photo shoot on Thursday to get all of these ready for sale by Monday. Monday at noon is the plan. All right, guys. I'm going to do one more tree on this dress. And... Uh, I did like the tree on this side. <sighs> or do we want to do something with the neckline? Similar, see, the, like the shirt I'm wearing. See how the neckline, like I haven't done a dress with a neckline like this. But, you know, I don't know. Styles go through phases. And what will be really popular for a period of time will then change into a different design placement. I'll notice it'll be a different design placement will be popular. So it's hard to say. And not every neck design, some neck designs are like, I go like full on crazy. Just, I don't know if I'm feeling it though. I don't know you guys. Yeah, this neck, it is pretty. It's intense. They're intense to make, but they, you can make some really cool ones. I almost think sometimes I do too much to them, to the thing. I could do a neck design with a tree, like a tree mandala, like in the middle. Oh, or I could do one with a peace sign. We're kind of into peace signs lately. I could do one with a tree on one side and a peace sign on the other. I don't know guys. Actually, I don't know. It might be cute. The tree. Let's see, what am I wearing? How is this working out?
Oh man, these little tiny trees are not as easy to make, but we can give it a try. And the wax has to be super cool. I should do this a moon and a star. Yeah, that's what we'll do. That's cute. Alright. I don't know. We'll do it. I, I don't know. I take risks on these designs sometimes. They're a little out there. <laughs> okay. But I just am going to do it. Alright. So... is brown, white, we're going to need, okay, hold on, I got to, I'm, I have to do the process in my mind of the next color and the next color. So the tree, all right, what we'll do, we'll do the tree first and then we'll work around it. in this after it cools down a bit and then I have to do the in my mind I have to figure out in my mind um, the contrast because the batik looks a certain way when you do the colors can contrast with the other color the second color and you want I really want each color to stand out so using the this base, the white, as a highlight for each color is what makes the, the designs pop. And you can really tell what they are. All right, so what we're gonna do is paint this in. How are we gonna do that? Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're just doing it right now. it's easier to use this So this is going to be, it'll crackle up so it's going to look really, it's, 
it'll look more detailed than that. I mean, it's pretty good for how small it is. But the, it's based on this tree idea. So this is my, sometimes it's hard to do it when it's even, you know, the micro version, but. And then see how there's like an outline of the tree with the dots in the middle? I don't think we're, I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna at least get that outline started. All right, Tori, thanks for visiting. Okay.
All right, cool. That is intense. All right, kind of ner nervous to do it. Sheila says, it is indeed relaxing to watch you paint. I just ate half a bag of pretzels mindlessly. <laughs> yeah, I well, I do that sometimes too, just, you know. <laughs> okay. This design is very exciting. I'm trying to keep my hand from shaking. But once the brush touches the fabric, it seems to settle everything down. Oof. Oh my god. This brush is getting a little worn down. It's loose, and that is not good. In fact, remind me to take it out of this wax at the end of this so that I don't, because I need to fix this. And when I turn the wax off, the brushes cool right in with the wax. But if I leave this one out, I'll be able to fix it. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Good. Okay. My goodness, okay. Um, there, I do have a video where I did, uh, the dyes, some, uh, will you live stream the dyeing process? I, I might, I might, I did a video where I, um, did the dye baths live and I was so nervous that colors were a little lighter than I intended, <laughs> but I could give it a try. Maybe I will do that. Maybe I'll give it another try. I did post that you that video, that live stream to YouTube, and it was received real, um, well. So apparently it was helpful. So maybe I will give it another try. It wound up being a half an hour live stream, even though it was just one dive bath. But I don't know. All right. 
Oh, are we going to do a peace sign in this side? Are we still feeling the peace sign? How are we feeling about this design? We got likes there. So many people are feeling the peace sign. All right, we'll do that. We'll just do that. You know, it's a good message. It's a good thing to wear. Is that where we want it? Or do we want it higher than that? I got a mirror right here. That's pretty. Like right here, right here. I think it needs to be higher. Okay. We have the same hair. Are you the same hair as me? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's <laughs> the natural curly hair. I know. It's one of these. I got wax all over me too. I know, for years, my hair is just like, I'm always trying to straighten it or put it up in a bun. I don't know. But now I'm getting into it. Curly hair, yay. It's a, it's a <laughs> unusual hair to have. But no, I don't, it doesn't bother me as much as it used to. It used to bother me a lot. All right, we're going to switch colors so I can follow the right circle. I do think this needs to be higher. Marker is almost out. Too big. I don't, I don't want. I don't need it. I don't want that much. I want it to be like a subtle. If I don't brush my hair in a little dreadlock, I'll get dreads, like within days. That used to bother me. One time I was actually doing a video and I started crying because I discovered a dreadlock in my hair. And I like dreads. I mean, I don't have a, I just, for me, it's always like, it's like I'm trying to not get dread because they come so easily. <laughs> but then when they happen, uh, I don't know. Now I don't really, it doesn't bother me. I don't know. Somehow my hair just switched. I attitude about my hair just changed I don't know what happened just changed one day <laughs> some yeah I don't know I think when I just start stop trying to do anything but just start let it grow then I let go of uh, all that stuff all right we got to keep going here hey how you doing I'm almost done. I'm on my last dress. Okay, can I take a soda? Uh, can you? It's, it's two. It is two. And I, like, haven't eaten lunch. I know. I really want you to eat lunch, though, when you... I'm almost done. Okay. Can you wait? Get, like, 15 more minutes? Yes, we can. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll be right out. I'll, well, I'm almost done with this. Okay. Bye. All right, bye. to the, the young and okay all right let's see so I'm feeling very radical here and just gonna Yes, that's what we're going to do. We're almost done guys we got four dresses today I'm really impressed I think that's a record probably couldn't have done it without your all's company but I have someone here keeping me accountable keep 
painting. It really helps a lot. Okay, beautiful, love it. Wait, how, is that too crazy? Oh, I don't know, what did I just do? All right, let's do the flames and then we'll get in there and, and do the piece on it. Feeling that maternal instinct, I gotta get up and tend to this guy super soon. We're almost done. centered okay you know what that will work we're gonna do that I like that that's gonna work out but are we gonna you know what I love it we're gonna we're just, we're just gonna go with that Perfect. Love it. Going down. <sighs> All right. Nice. Okay. Good. Love it, beautiful, beautiful. One star right here. Whew. I'm gonna fill this in. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. Ah, oh, the brush is just freaking me out. I don't know why I can't use that brush right now. It's too loose. I might, I might, I might leave that like that, but I don't know. We'll see. Let's just do this. Okay, almost done. might come in and do a little more I probably will do some more but I need to and I actually I'm just gonna do flames Ugh. yeah I'm gonna do flames on this dress but I need to go get my I gotta get my son something to eat yeah I was gonna put flames but I mean, I might need to come, I already have them traced out for the flames that we're gonna do. We're gonna do like the wisps, like these kind of wisps. But around this tree, it's gonna be amazing. This will be very pretty. And I'm gonna do a little more details. Uh, I already see it, I already envision it. And then this side, I might do some more with a peace sign and then I have to figure something out here. I might actually add to it. But I gotta feed my son. Yeah, this is a cool one. It's not finished yet. There's more to do. But these will be ready. I'm planning on getting all of these ready for Monday. So hopefully we'll see you guys then. And thanks for hanging out with me. <laughs> for those of you who stayed and watched the whole thing. And for those of you who shared it, that's awesome. So I'm going to go and uh, thanks for your company. We got a lot done today. All right, bye everyone. Kisses. <laughs> see you guys soon.